in another hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu with regards to Allah's rahmah, and Allah loves to be merciful, Allah loves to turn back to his slave, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said that if there were a people that did not sin, right, if everybody was just, you know, everybody was just doing what they were supposed to do, Allah said he will create a people that will sin so that they can turn to him in repentance. This is what he loves. He loves this. When you turn back to him in repentance, remember the story of the lady, right, who lost her child, right, lost, gone, the baby. She's frantic. And then all of a sudden this baby ends up on the doorstep. He said, can you not see the, the happiness and the joy of this woman, of her child being returned to her? Rasulullah so said, Allah is, his love is greater, his happiness is greater than that woman. Than any time a servant of Allah who's done wrong or lost their way or whatnot, and they came back to Allah, subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, So he loves it when you come back to him. He loves it when you turn back to him and make tawbah, meaning to turn back to him. He loves that, right? So the only person that's holding up the forgiveness is yourself by doubting the mercy of Allah. It is only the kafirin. Because if you doubt it and you don't do it, you're going to die a Kafir. The only ones that doubt the mercy of Allah is the Kafirin, the, those who don't believe in these things. You don't believe in his names and attributes. And it's only Shaitan that wants you to doubt the mercy of Allah. So if you allow Shaitan to manifest and gain control over you, then you'll doubt the mercy of Allah. But when you have knowledge, right? We have knowledge of these things. We have knowledge of these eyes. That's why I say knowledge is power. Those who strive to attain knowledge, Allah will make what? Their path to paradise easy. I have knowledge of these things, so if I make mistakes, I get caught up in doing certain things, I get in a shameful predicament, I become guilty of certain things, man, I remember, oh man, Kataba ala nafsi ala nafsi. Man, oh my man, man, I gotta turn to Allah, I gotta just turn to Allah. I ain't killed 99 people. Y'all, anybody here killed 99 people? Huh? Somebody ain't killed one person. You know, tell me, you ain't supposed to, you know, you ain't supposed to uh, kill a fly. You feel me? But this person killed 99, 100 people, and Allah forgave him. Then Allah said, the story of the Quran, you commit shirk, adultery, fornication, murder. He said, he'll forgive you that too. It's only shaitan that makes you doubt the mercy of Allah. Okay? So if there was a people that didn't sin, Allah will create a people that will sin so they can turn to him. Okay? In another hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "He or she who does not give mercy or show mercy upon the people here on earth, they will not be given mercy from Him who's in heaven. Whoever does not show mercy on earth to the people, right, they will not be given mercy from Him who's in heaven." Remember that old saying: "The same way that you judge, that's the way that you will be judged." Right? A lot of us, we want to be stickling. Nah, man, I'm cool. I ain't forgiving that, man. I'm cool. I'm done. Nah, man, it's rap. Ugh. The same way that you do that, that, do you want a lot to do you like that? You doing all these sins and whatnot, but this person did this one little sin, and you say it's a rap, it's over with. Nah, man, I'm cool. Man, that's rap. Man, this, man. From now until eternity, he going to stay in that predicament. But yet, you want a lost brother to forgive you. You want a lost brother to be merciful to you and give you a chance, but you won't give nobody else a chance. Rasulullah some said, he who does not show mercy to the people here on earth will not be given mercy from him who's in heaven. That's what we want. So if you want that mercy from him in heaven, you better do it here on earth. You better learn how to be forgiving. And forgiving is a part of taqwa, it's a part of iman. To be forgiving or to be humble and to let things slide, I man, that's not weakness. This is from taqwa. This is from iman. It takes strength to do it. It takes character. It takes morale to do that. Right? A sucker or someone who doesn't have any type of kuf about himself, he's all, uh, uh, and, uh, uh, he doesn't know how to reflect. He doesn't understand that, man, you know what I'm saying, this is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the opportunity, uh, opportunity of me being forgiven. Right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that we have an option. He said if somebody does something to you, you have the option of what? Kisas. Kisas. Right? Kisas. Right? You have the option of retaliation. That's an option. Right? He said, or you could be forgiven, or you can forgive. Right? He said, and if you forgive, he'll forgive you, and he'll raise you in elevation. Hmm. 
I can retaliate and get it over with. And I got my get back. Yeah. Got him. Right? He knocked my tooth, I'm gonna knock his tooth out. He slapped me, I'm gonna slap him back. Or I can say, man, you know what? Man, you know what? I'm gonna take that, bro. I'm gonna forgive you so that Allah can forgive me and I can be elevated in rank. So then we wonder why there's certain people that go through trials and tribulations and they're elevated. They get done a job. Why? Because they know that this is part of Iman, they know that this is part of Taqwa, this is part of Ihsan. Right? Those who get angry, but they control their anger when they're angry and they forgive. Allah will forgive them and raise them in Daraja. We want that Daraja. We don't want this, we don't want this dunya. Right? We don't want this, the superficial stuff it is doing. We want the Akira and we want the Daraja because it said the Daraja is the elevation. We get elevated in this life, right? He'll honor you. He'll put a badge of honor on you, put that nur on you for doing certain things. And he'll elevate you in the Akira. The more that you forgive and why not, the higher you go into the Jannah. Right? The deeper you dig and the more that you humble yourself, the higher you go in elevation. Man, we want that elevation. Last week we talked about, he said what? Those who are the most tested are who? The prophets. Those who are the most tested are the prophets. And then those closer to them in faith, then those who are closer to them in faith, these are the most tested. Right? But they get the most reward. Right? So the more you believe, the more tested you get to. Amazing is the way of the believer. That when he gets tested, he gets charged with it, he's patient, and he knows it's from the thunder of Allah, he gets other than he gets double reward. Alhamdulillah, I mean. Okay? So again, he who does not show mercy on earth, he will not receive mercy from him who's in heaven. And that's the mercy we want. That's what we want. That Rahim. Allah, Allah, Rahman, Rahim. We want that Rahim. We want that mercy from Allah. Right? You want the mercy from Allah. You want Allah to forgive you, but you ain't trying to show no mercy to nobody else. You want Allah to forgive you. You want Allah to give you a second chance, but you don't want to give nobody else no second chance. Nope. You don't show mercy, you ain't going to get no mercy. You don't want to give nobody a second chance, Allah ain't going to give you no second chance. You understand how that go? Simple. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Okay?